A leather belt is required to transmit 7.5 kilo from a pulley 1.2 meter in diameter running at 250 rpm. The angle of contact is 165 degree and the coefficient of friction between the belt and the pulley is 0.35. If the safe working stress for the leather belt is 2 megapascal, density of leather is 1050 kg per meter cube and the thickness of belt is 10 mm, determine the width of belt taking centrifugal tension into account. What is given? Given A leather belt is required to transmit 7.5 kW Power is given 7500 Watt The diameter of pulley 1.2 meter Running at a speed of N is given 250 RPM. The angle of contact is theta is equal to 165 degree. That is in radian multiplied by pi by 180. It becomes 2.8797 radian. The coefficient of friction mu is equal to 0 0.35. If the safe working stress for the leather leather belt is 2 megapascal sigma is equal to megapascal that is 2 into 10 raised to 6 newton per meter square density of belt rho is equal to 1050 kg per meter cube and the thickness of belt t is equal to 10 mm that is equal 0 0.01 meter determine the width of the belt taking centrifugal tension into account so you have to find to find width of the belt B width of the belt B now formula is required so we require we require the formula so T max, you know T max is equal to T1 plus Tc. So we have to consider Tc also. So Tc is equal to M into V square. That V is equal to pi dn divided by 60. To find T1 and T2, we require formula of power P is equal to T1 minus T2 into V and tension ratio T1 divided by T2 is equal to E raised to mu theta also require sigma is given so require T max is equal to you know sigma into Bt this is the formula of T max so we require those formulas from this equation we calculate T max from this equation we calculate T max in the form of B and after equating these two equations, we get the value of thickness of belt. Now, how to solve solution? Let us see solution. So first, find out velocity. V is equal to pi d n divided by 60. So pi into d is 1.2 into n 250 divided by 60. So V becomes 15.7079 meter per second now find out t1 and t2 so take power is equal to t1 minus t2 into v power is 7500 is equal to t1 minus t2 into v 15.7079 so 7500 divided by 15.709 7079 so T1 minus T2 is equal to 477.4648 Newton. This is the first equation. Now take attention ratio T1 divided by T2 is equal to E raised to mu theta. T1 divided by T2 is equal to E raised to mu is so mu is 0 0.35 into theta 2. Point it are 2.8797 
retention ratio T1 by T2 becomes 2.7398 so T1 is equal to 2.7398 T2 now put this value in value of T1 in equation 1 so 2.7398 T2 minus T2 is equal to 477.4648 so 1.7398 T2 is equal to 477.4648 so T2 becomes T2 is equal to 274.4322 Newton put this value in equation 2 we get T1 T1 is equal to 2.7398 into value of T2, T2 is 274.4322 so T1 we get 751.8894 Newton this is the value of T1 now take T max T max is equal to you know, T1 plus Tc T1 is 751.8894 plus Tc m v square 751.8894 plus m we know rho into b into t into length we take a length as 1 meter into v square v is 15.7079 square so 751.8894 plus rho is 1050 into b we have to find t 0 0.01 given into 15.7079 square so this value this value becomes 2590.75 b this is a t max this is equation 3 now t max by using this formula t max is equal to sigma into b into t sigma is given 2 into 10 raised to 6 into b we have to determine and t 0.01 so it becomes it becomes 20,000 times b 20,000 times b this is the fourth equation now we have two equations of t max we equating equating 3 and 4 by equating 3 and 4 we get 751.8894 plus 2590.75 b is equal to 20,000 b so when this term go to this side we get minus from 20,000 b so 20,000 b minus 2590.75 b so 751.8894 is equal to this term becomes this term becomes 17409.25 b so b is equal to 751.8894 divided by 17409.25 so b becomes 0 0.04318 meter that is equal to 43.18 mm this is our required answer